Let us start the Vaiva with the permission of external. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I request uh, the as per the university norm. First of all, the candidate will give uh, the brief presentation about the work he has done, which will be followed by open discussion. If anybody wants to interact, and after that, after that, one day I will. Conduct my work sooner briefly, and uh, final of the candidate and uh, uh, an internal briefly will give his recommendation, and then I, as the chairman of the panel, will give my recommendation. And we will come to the end of this vaiva. So I welcome everybody, particularly respected external referee, uh, internal referee, all other dignitaries who have joined on this uh, virtual platform, uh, and uh, request the candidate. I will beg wishes to the candidate. I request the candidate to please start his presentation. I request the candidate to stick to research methodology and uh, to. To be specific, uh, because it's a research presentation, it's not a lecture on the topic. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Katre, with yes, uh, sir. Mr. Yes, sir. Please start your presentation. Yes, sir. Sure. I hope I'm audible to everyone. Yes, yes. Continue. So, welcome all to an open defense viva. I was examination on the doctoral thesis of uh, this is my topic that is a critical study of government schemes and policies for entrepreneurship development in Vidarbha with special reference to Nagpur region. The data has been focused uh, in the span of 2012 to 2017 and this thesis has been submitted to Rashtrasanta Tukuroji Maharaj Nagpur University Nagpur in the Faculty of Commerce with subject business administration and business management. Hello, good morning all. I am Vivek Katare. The researcher of this particular topic, uh, under the guidance and supervision of Dr. Mukul Burghate from Dhanwantara National College. Now, I will start uh, with the introduction. In the introduction part, there is uh, entrepreneurship and economic development related to Vidarbha, uh, in which I have covered the necessity of entrepreneurship development, a role of entrepreneurship development uh, for economy of India, the gap in economic theories and what is entrepreneurship, contributory factors of entrepreneurship for the uh, nation and development of entrepreneurship in which uh, I have covered laws, regulations and procedures of government, the government policies, infrastructural uh, facilities are available for go to your development in India so and uh, supporting institutions. Hello. Hello. Then move further, Hello. the scope of entrepreneurship Hello. development in India. Hello. Uh, it is to generate Hello? immediate and large scale employment. Obviously, if entrepreneurship goal, uh, grows, uh, employment all, will also grow in the nation. The, obviously, I said that employment will grow. It means it will eradicate the unemployment problem in the country. Then uh, to promote the backward areas, as uh, my topic said that it is belongs to the Vidarbha. Okay, so in Vidarbha, we have so many backward areas like Gadhichiroli and Chandrapur. So uh, they are also the part of national development. So we should uh, focus on that area also. So Hello? here is the scope of this entrepreneurship development Hello? to promote the balanced Hello? regional development as, as Hello? Re various reasons in our country. Hello? So there should be a balanced regional Hello? development. So here is also the scope of this study. The more equitable distribution of Hello? national income and uh, with that effective mobilization of country untapped resources untapped resources means uh, Hello? if there are uh, resources resources are available with the country but uh, there are some areas where these resources cannot be reached in time so these are the scope of this particular study at the indian context Hello? if we see vidarbha as i said vidarbha Hello? belongs to the backward area of country especially in the state of maharashtra but uh, here we have reached Hello? almost 100 percent of maharashtra state's coal limestone fire clay as we have power plants in Chandrapur and Nagpur also and the magnets etc minerals are there 
it produces almost 166% of cotton and largest producer of oranges vidarbha uh, covers 80% of maharashtra's forest so msme can focus on this area hello and uh, the most hello? is just that india uh, nagpur is the geographical center of our country uh, so in 500 meter locality it covers almost 50 cities then uh, i have covered here almost uh, 16 government schemes and policies the first one is prime minister's employment generation program other one is rajiv gandhi uddhav mitra yojana and so on i will discuss it later on in detail so i will move further with the rationale of study as, as need for entrepreneurship uh, it is rapidly so in the rationale of study um, to the to grow the business environment in our country and uh, there is need of support from the government with the with government schemes and policies which is the basic rationale, uh, rationale of the study to promote government schemes and policies for the specially for the Vidarbha region as it is uh, backward from western Maharashtra as explained uh, here that it is western Maharashtra is extreme developed than Kokan, Vidarbha and Maharashtra. The objectives of study uh, to critically evaluate the government schemes and policies then uh, awareness of these government schemes and policies in the people of or entrepreneurs of uh, Vidarbha and the utilization of these government schemes and policies. If I have moved to the hypothesis, I have explained the null hypothesis on the basis of objectives in which first that I have said that government of India does not have schemes, uh, it is the null hy hypothesis. Then uh, prospective entrepreneurs in Vidarbha are not aware about the schemes and policies. Then existing or budding entrepreneurs in the Vidarbha does not utilize these schemes and policies and there is no scope for any modification in schemes and policies government or for internship development so these are the research hypothesis based on the objectives it will be justified further in the research methodology as uh, in the review of literature i have uh, studied uh, many uh, research papers among three i have included these three uh, papers in my study i move further with the sampling so there are two sample units i have included one is the youth of vidarbha uh, in the age of 22 to 35 years, that is the sampling frame, and I have chosen sample size of around 600 uh, due to the lack of time. Time I can't say, but uh, there are several problems with the limitations with this uh, sample size, and uh, I have selected the random sample technique for this particular sample unit. The another sample unit is the entrepreneurs in the Vidarbha, and I have covered generally uh, on the base of Nagpur region, in which I have covered the uh, MIDC Bhuttipur and MIDC Hingna region where the sampling frame is manufacturing and service industries of that area in which I have focused on 200 to 250 industries uh, on the basis of judgmental sampling because uh, I have already said that I have selected the Bhuttipur and Hingna area that's why it would be the judgmental sampling then moving further the objective one has been satisfied uh, by studying the all uh, schemes, almost 16 schemes have been studied uh, in my study. Uh, if uh, see in detail, uh, the, the few are the DIC, that is District Industry Center, the Micro, Small and Medial Enterprises, SIDBI and MUDRA. So the satisfaction of objectives are there. These are some uh, data analysis which is presented over here. The hypothesis testing is there. The ANOVA test has been implemented for testing the first hypothesis and the null hypothesis has been rejected whereas alternate has been accepted. Hence, it is observed that government of India has schemes and policies for entrepreneurship development. If I move to hypothesis 2, so there was also the null hypothesis and null hypothesis has been rejected with, uh, as uh, it is applied with the regression analysis test and hence it is concluded that entrepreneurs of Vidarbha aware of the schemes and policies of government. Now, uh, now I am moving towards the findings and conclusions of this study. So, 
the people are more agreed towards the bad experiences of other as i have studied uh, on the youth around 600 people have responded to uh, my questionnaires and uh, in which i have selected 405 uh, for the analysis so i observed that the uh, bad experiences of other in the business uh, that further were reacted in positive way that they are not able to handle the risk in the business so youth of uh, the vidarbha have experienced the bad experiences and uh, they, are, they are not uh, able to handle the risk in the business as we said that there is so much risk to start a business because there is chance uh, that business will not run as the expectation because there is uh, the, it takes a lot more time for the break even also so it is the finding then uh, the youth of the Vidarbha more emphasized uh, towards the salaried job they are more relaxed with the salary job as they don't want to expose their comfort zone because if anybody has the salary job so it is obviously the comfort for them that uh, they will do the job of 10 to 6 or whatever the timing so they uh, they do not motivate themselves to go to the entrepreneurship so it is uh, one of the finding then uh, lack of family support we can say for the micro or small uh, enterprises the family support is not that much uh, observed in the Vidarbha region so that uh, the budding entrepreneurs are not able to cope with that. Then it seems uh, fewer people interested to utilize their existing fund in the business. Obviously, if the people have fund, uh, they they have invested in other uh, bank policies or shares and etc. But they don't want to invest it in uh, business as they have the fear that the business will run or not. It is the key finding. Then the maximum number of people are afraid that regarding their job security. Now it is uh, the another part that who who are who want to join uh, to want to do the business or entrepreneurship. The people uh, who don't have the job security and they so they think about the entrepreneurship. It is the another phase uh, of the study. More than 90 people are saying that the government schemes and policies uh, support influences the lot the entrepreneurship. It is true that it is found uh, that 90 percent more than 90 percent people says that government schemes and policies. Uh, should influence the entrepreneurship in positive way. If there are lot many schemes and policies, the people can uh, go for this. <laughs> then uh, there are few more findings that uh, the government is uh, least bother about to support the entrepreneurship in the matter of documentation and other things. And it is observed that entrepreneurs are more dependable. Yes. Entrepreneurs are more dependable. Uh, on assistance of the government scheme. It is obvious that uh, if you are paying the taxes and uh, if you want to promote entrepreneurship in a particular area, so government should look after for this and it is the finding that uh, the entrepreneurs of the uh, Vidarbha region or Nagpur region has more dependable on the government schemes. Uh, and uh, it is found that there is large scope of industrial and industrial entrepreneurship development in Vidarbha. As uh, I have seen that uh, Mihan is the base for the entrepreneurship it is the largest, uh, it is the cargo hub developed by the state government uh, of Maharashtra. But it is not that much developed because companies are coming there but it is not running properly. Hence, uh, people are, the government is finding some additional offices to promote the uh, Mihan at the Maharashtra and uh, uh, national international level. And it is, they are looking for the another office in Mumbai. So it is another finding. This is the research, uh, recent news actually. And uh, as I have studied, it is the part of 12, 2012 to 2017. Hence, I am adding this that uh, government is looking to develop the entrepreneurship through Mihan and says. Now, if I see the recommendations, uh, I have recommended that uh, government should try the entrepreneurship development activities through the uh, institutes that uh, the students and uh, budding entrepreneurship should, uh, that, uh, should motivate themselves to start the entrepreneurship. And uh, it is important to provide flexibility in rules and regulations by the government, but it seems too difficult uh, as the political interventions. Uh, as, I, as we know that uh, the government has changing uh, the administrations, okay, and uh, due to which uh, there is lack of administration and uh, uh, the government rules also affect the entrepreneurship development because uh, as I observed, uh, it is recommended uh, that uh, there should be some flexible rules to start a, uh, entrepreneurship development.
to motivate the uh, people the another finding that being the center of country we have a strong network of railway and road as well as we have more than sufficient land available with the airport as i said earlier that the logistic part should be there uh, for the landing of uh, aircraft and uh, i already told that mihan is the example which is uh, on the paper it is running but not it is uh, running so fast so these are the key uh, recommendations as i have included in my study now i would like to stop here if any questions please ask sir mic on karo tumche that's right that's all from my side if any questions please okay. ask okay okay thank you thank you katra sir am i audible mera awaaz yeto hai hello yes sir you are audible sir okay yes sir now i request uh, the external referee to please conduct the vibe sir venkat yes, sir good morning sir please conduct the vibe okay sir good morning uh, anand bhai sir so mr venkat you can cover my time now with topic to celebrate for this research and its importance Uh, sir, I have selected. Uh, sir, as I have seen that uh, in Darbha, in the Maharashtra, is a uh, lot of backward area uh, due to the 80% forest cover and uh, tribal areas also there in the Maharashtra state. Uh, if we see Gadchirili and Chandrapur station, now if we say uh, if we compare the areas uh, of uh, Western Maharashtra and Maratwada, Kokan and Darbha, Darbha is not much developed. even it is had a uh, lot of minerals uh, in this a particular area hence i seen that there is lot of that uh, if government has look after uh, these things this availability is in vidarbha and uh, if they focus on the development of this particular region in maharashtra the people and youth of this particular area can grow hence i selected this topic uh, for my uh, study So we can we please your sample size sample technique which you selected Hello sir please can you repeat the question please Can you explain about the sample technique you selected yeah, in the yeah. size uh, sir uh, there are two sample units i have selected for my study for the budding entrepreneurs i have selected the youth of this vidarbha region especially from nagpur vardha bandara gondia and all there are 600 uh, samples i have uh, taken uh, by the random sample uh, technique because there is no particular i can i can take uh, anybody uh, from the youth so that uh, i have selected the random sample technique in which i have uh, sent the 600 samples where i get a 409 positive which could be uh, added in my study and uh, in the second part i have selected the judgmental sample this for the budding entrepreneurs we have already available in the mrdc area of nagpur that in igna and butagori where uh, i have sent uh, 200 to 250 samples almost and uh, i have uh, selected 66 samples because uh, they are less bother about uh, and they are not entertain in outer people even uh, they are the research study doing the research study since i got the 66 samples for the judgmental sampling because i knew that this is my target area and i judged that that uh, these people could help me in my research that's why i selected these sampling techniques महाराष्ट्र 
uh, it is also applicable for the Vidarbha people. But the uh, people of Vidarbha is not aware about uh, this scheme. Okay, so it is necessary uh, to uh, to run the campaigns of the awareness through educational institutes. Uh, so that uh, the budding students and budding entrepreneurs can uh, acquire that knowledge about the scheme and uh, because there are n number of schemes uh, by the government of India. But uh, the Vidarbha people, their mentality that uh, they will not go into business yeah, or uh, the, the risk in the business. Okay. So, it is the key recommendation that uh, people should think about it and uh, they should ask the government for subsidies because it is available through MSME and district industry centers of the region. So, it is the key finding, main key finding that uh, people are not aware about the uh, government schemes of all the region. And uh, government should also uh, government should also uh, look after that uh, there should not be any administrative procedures uh, because uh, people get frustrated if there is so many so much administrative process uh, regarding documentation and all. So if government gives uh, few kind of relax relaxation in this part, so it is uh, good for the budding entrepreneurs. <laughs> How do you justify that the government schemes may bring entrepreneurship development? Sir, can you please repeat the question? Hello. How the government schemes will bring entrepreneurship? Sir, you are not keeping the Hello. 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 Pardon, sir. So I had to be able to cover the last question. Yeah. How do you justify that the government schemes will help for an entrepreneurship dog? Yeah, no, Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, you are not audible. Audible, sir. No, sir, please repeat the last question. How do you justify that this government schemes will help in entrepreneurship development? Education institutes. Sir, I think that you have asked me that how the education institutes uh, help in the uh, entrepreneurship development. Hello. So, uh, sir, uh, by running the skill development activities, uh, as I have seen in recent time, the government is running the skill development activities. And if they develop the skill of students, especially engineering and uh, uh, other uh, fields, so that they will uh, that will motivate the students. Uh, the, in the particular region, but I think uh, not only the skill development, the proper funding also important to start the entrepreneurship. So this is my observation. Super. Okay, answer you may consider this. Pardon? Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Oh, okay, so, sir. sir. Do you recommend this work for award of PhD? Hello, you, sir. Doctor Venkia, do you recommend the uh, thesis for award of PhD? That is the question Sananta sir has asked you. Do you recommend the thesis for award? For the present viva, I recommend uh, Vivek Adare to uh, award the PhD degree, sir. Thank you very much, thank sir. Very much, thank, sir. You thank you all, thank you all uh, for listening for me listening carefully. Me carefully. I, 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 I'm very sorry that I was, I was not able to hear you properly. There might be some uh, problem. I thank you. I thank you to the external examiner. I thank you. Congratulations, sir. Everyone. everyone. Yes sir. yes sir. Sir, you are audible. Okay. Hello. Yes sir. Yes, sir.
there is some problem. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you please do it. Sir, Venkaya uh, sir, any recommendation? Dilla ka? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, given. Yes, given. Yes, given. Yes, given. Positive. Now, as an internal review, I request the guide to give the recommendation. Venkaya sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sir, finally, uh, uh, so going to the institute was called submitted to RTM National University, and, uh, and uh, after, uh, after uh, today's biological uh, uh, examination uh, presentation by Mr. Vivek Kapoor, I, 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 I highly recommend uh, the uh, thesis to be uh, awarded uh, with a uh, degree uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Vivek Kapoor. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, recommend, I recommend. Yeah, I recommend. Yeah, I recommend. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Based on the recommendations given by esteemed external and internal debris, I also, as a chairman of this panel, recommend the award of PhD degree to Mr. Katre Thank in you. the Faculty of Commerce and Management of Rajasthan Sukhruji Maharaj Nagpur University. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deshmukh. With this, we come to the conclusion of this viva. Yes. I am extremely thankful. To respect the uh, Venkaya sir for taking time out during this pandemic and giving us uh, appointment for conduct of Bhava. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Gurgati, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I uh, wish him a very prosperous career. So, thank with you, this, we come to the conclusion of this Bhava.